channel my name is Wolo I live in Winnipeg Manitoba and I create videos from Winnipeg Manitoba so everybody knows what's actually happening and people are self-isolating and all that I don't want to mention the name because YouTube is doing something funny on YouTube once you mention that name they just I don't know what they do and um, I'm actually outside today and you can see that the roads are very busy it doesn't look like people are really self-isolating people are actually doing different things and going out and driving so it doesn't look like anything is even happening here um, so I think the euphoria or the excitement or whatever is just online the media is just blowing a lot of things out of proportion although one should be scared but I mean if you calculate the number of deaths it's not that bad let's 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 be sincere with ourselves it's not that bad anyway so what I'm going to talk about today is concerning um, what I actually talked about one time and that is about occupations in demand so this period where everybody is self-isolating and working from home and blah 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 there are people who are really in hot demand this season and I've talked about it before that there are some occupations that if you come to Canada you'll be struggling to get jobs in those places but there are some occupations where they are always looking for people and that is the healthcare industry um, medical doctors nurses mental health practitioners social workers a lot of people this period are very very active and very busy in fact they are overstretched when it comes to working they are overstressed because they are highly in demand and healthcare will always be in demand as long as humanity is in existence so for people who are also thinking of switching careers you can see what is hap actually happening all over the world the healthcare system is actually strained right now so it means they are always in demand another job uh, another occupation that will always be in demand is um, truck drivers because these are the people that actually um, move food from one place of the country to another um, although they have the train system that also moves food but truck drivers are more in demand this season and if you look at most of the occupations that the AIPP provinces are looking for are actually truck drivers so you can see that while every other person is sitting at home and working from home truck drivers are actually working to make sure that there is food in the stores um, people are buying food and all that so they're actually very very busy this period another set of people that are very busy this period or that will always be in demand are sales um, I think sales um, is it sales representatives or sales agents or all the sales agents customer service people they are always in demand because people are calling to make inquiries people are calling to cancel things people are calling to find out information of what is happening so this group of people are always in demand if you go to the stores right now you will see people still selling items shops are really not closed but restaurants are closed where they sell food they are closed but shops are really not closed um, so if you go to the shops you will see sales representatives um, you also find customer service agents who are also working from home this period and to me I think everything seems normal everything just seems normal to me because I don't see anything that is happening people are not self-isolating people are driving people are just going around I really don't know what they mean by self-isolation if self-isolation is driving then everybody's driving and it doesn't look like anything is actually happening so I don't know what the media is actually pumping out to people like oh the world is ending the world is not ending <laughs> and funny enough there was even um, a provincial nomination draw today through the express entry and the score was 720 so it was only provincial nomination usually it's usually express entry and the scores usually uh, 470 471 but today the scores went that, uh, up it went up to 720 strictly for only people who had provincial nominations and um and from next week hopefully i'll be doing a question and answer session and hopefully come on live um, because i am self-isolating in my car i'm supposed to be self-isolating at home don't mind me i'm self-isolating so i have enough time to be responding to emails and actually i'm um, doing more research on how to immigrate to canada we hope that within the next 
few days or in the next 21 days because that's what the government is anticipating that within the next 21 days um, this whole thing will be contained and the number of people who have the virus will um, plummet and they must have recovered you know we are praying for the whole world to be healed from this situation that we find ourselves and um, it's a lesson for all of us to actually be prepared for whatever is going to happen in the future so that's what i want to share today thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video bye bye